Hello and welcome back to Farm Sim 15 and today we're going to be having a look at how to add in a fruit type to a seed drill, this one in particular, but it, the process will be exactly the same regardless of what seed drill you're using, now, this particular one has a built-in cultivator but you know it shouldn't really matter about that um, I'll show you it in the store very quickly, so if I go into mods, so machines and it's the first one here so it's Amazon EDX 9000, I personally would say this is more likely a 2013 convert just by looking at it uh, you can see it's a little bit uh, yeah, when it comes to the modelling and everything else, perfectly fine for 2013 I would say, but for what we have in 2015, um, probably a little bit as I say there. But it does work to agree, it does have some errors, if I bring up the console here, you can see it's got an error, failed to load particle system data, vehicles, particle systems, field work particle systems, i 3 d uh, Looking in the actual FarmSim 15 setup, there is no folder called particle systems, it's now called particle animations I believe so this again leads me to believe this is a convert from farm sim 2013 or even maybe earlier than that I don't know but like I say for the most part it does work it does looks a bit off in my opinion for what we have now in farm sim 15 there are a couple of other issues with it um, but I mean you know that aside this really isn't about this particular seed drill it's more about how to add in additional fruit types to the seed drill process itself. So if I look in the bottom right hand corner here I have wheat displayed and then this is a multi-fruit map. Uh, some of the multi-fruits I've added myself but um, for the most part it is as it is. So if I just press the O key to cycle through we then go to barley, canola, corn, grass, sunflower, oats, rye, lucerne and then back to wheat. So you can see there's no no listing of sugar beets. Uh, now <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is hopefully show you how to add that in. So what I will do here is um, exit out of this particular game save here. I'm not going to actually save the game because I am actually playing on this game save. This is one I've got several hours, somewhere over 60 hours on. So I don't particularly want to screw it up too much. So what I'm going to do is exit out and then I'll rebuy it when we come back in the game. Um, once I've actually changed some bits in the actual mod itself as I say to accept sugar beets so I will see you back on the desktop and then we'll have a bit of a play around and see what we can do so I'll see you shortly ok so welcome back to the desktop and I've got the actual download site here I'll put a link in the description if anybody does actually want this uh, Amazon EDX 9000 version 1 as you can see Sow machine, all grasses, plants, I don't know what that means, but wheat, barley, canola, corn and grass. So we're going to try and add in some uh, sugar beets so it will actually give us the uh, capability of then seeding those sugar beets. So just minimise that down. So what I'm going to do here is I've got the actual download. There's the zip and I've extracted that. I've used WinRAV or use whatever you choose. So I'm going to open up the folder there and if we come into here, First thing I'm going to have a do is have a look at the mod desk. So I'm going to open that with Notepad++. Use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. So if I come down to here, we've got wheat, barley, rape, maize, grass in our field types. So I'm going to create a space. It must have a space between the actual fruit types or field types. And I'm going to then type in sugar beet. And it must be spelt that way with a capital B for Bravo because otherwise it won't recognize it. So we have our sugar beet there. So I'm going to double click that to highlight it, copy it and then what I'm going to do is save and I'm going to minimize that then I'm going to come up to the Amazon EDX 6000 even though we actually know this is a 9000 it's based on a different version but as I said earlier on in the video I believe this is more than likely a convert from um, FarmSim 13 I don't know but uh, that may be the reason why so I'm going to right click on that, open that in Notepad++ so then if I actually scroll down, we can see here we have our sewing machine section and the um, fill type seeds fertilizer. That's fine. Don't need to mess about that. But if we continue on down, we've got seed fruit types. So if we come across, we can see we've got wheat, barley, rape, maize, grass again. So if I click in there, press space. Again, as I said, we need our spaces between our fruit types or fill types. So I can paste in the sugar beet that I took over from the mod desk. Now that I've got that into there I can go ahead and save. That is all you need to do. You don't need to mess around with anything else. I'm going to just show you very quickly 
the reason why we had our errors. We have our ground particle system here. This is completely different now in FarmSim 15. It's not called that anymore to my understanding. If we look across here, we've got uh, data vehicles, particle systems, field particle systems, .i3d. That doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in the actual data folder or the vehicle folder, I should say. There's nothing like that in there. So again, this leads me to believe that it's say 2013 or even previous 2011, whatever convert. But uh, so I, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It doesn't seem to affect the actual uh, sewing machine too much if you do choose to download this and use it. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But it's more about the actual adding in of the sugar beets. So hopefully now that I've added that into there, we should have the capability of seeding our sugar beets. So what I'm going to do now is just close these down. I don't need them open anymore. I've saved them, made the change. So I'm just going to select them all and then right click, add to Amazon EDX, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to then do that to create my zip. Again, you'll need to work with whatever archive program that you've got, whether it be WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip, whatever. Uh, but that's that. So now I've got that all zipped up into there. I'm going to go Control x to cut it. Come into my mods folder here. Control v going to paste in, overwrite the version I've got, which I already had, which, I, as you could see earlier on in the video, didn't um, accept sugar beets, so I wasn't able to then seed them. So what I'm going to do now is shut this down and uh, I'll go back into game and then we'll see if we've managed to edit it in a way that it will actually accept sugar beets and then we'll try and seed them so I'll see you back in game shortly right so here we are back in game again and I haven't purchased it yet because I want to do that together so what I'm going to do now is just go into the store go across to mods sewing machines and as you can see now with the Amazon EDX 9000 selected in our fruit types, it shows our wheat, barley, canola, corn, grass, and sugar beet. So, so far, so good. So what I'm going to do now is just double click that to purchase it. So it is purchasable. We haven't broken anything so far. So I can come back out of here, and there we go, on the map, or on the farm, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to come around here and just connect up, like so. <clears throat> And then what we'll do is, like before, I'll show you bottom right corner, we've got wheat, which is obviously there. So press the O key and we'll cycle through. So we've got barley, canola, corn, grass, and then we have sugar beet. Forgetting the other additional fruit types, but we have sugar beet. So yay, um, so far so good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to a field that uh, has actually been harvested, which had canola in before, I believe. So we'll just take a drive over here to this particular field and then what I will do is I'll just for now buy a placeable seed pallet so that I can actually put down or actually get some seeds into this seed drill. So we'll just come around here, um, that field there, just, just to the right of us now as we're going past. I've just literally harvested that, which as I say had canola in, so we'll just come around here. We'll come into the field and as I say, I'll um, go into the store and I'll just purchase a placeable seed pallet. So if I stop there, perfect. Go back into the store, in the mods, placeables. We'll come across and somewhere just there. So if I just, uh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. Plonk that down there. Come out of there. So we'll just come on round. And we'll fill it up. That'll be fine. Okay, so now that I've got some into there, what I'm going to do now is seed this particular field. So just line up here and we'll continue to seed or start the seeding process.
So just coming up now and finishing off the last pass here, I guess, uh, the last stretch of the uh, planting of the sits, uh, sugar beets. Forgot what I was doing then. Um, so once we actually get this little bit done, what I'll do is I'll fast forward time so you can actually see them all grow up through the stages. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Um, I've got growth manager in here, but uh, <clears throat> so we'll just shut this thing down and fold it all up. There we go. Get off the field. There we go. Shut that down. So we have our sugar beets. I've not done a brilliant job, I will admit, but the idea is just to show that it does work. So if I actually go into the eye menu here, the um, map views and we'll have a look and you can see um, field 36 which is the one I just actually seeded and if we go across to our fruit types you can see it's in the sort of pinky purple sort of color I don't know what you want to call that and if we look down here represents sugar beets so theoretically that should be ideal so we'll shut that down what I'll do is I've got fast forward mod in so I'll just go through and then get to the next day the daylight there we go and everything grows up and we have sugar beets so yeah it does work um, not really my kind of uh, seed driller if I'm honest like I say it is a convert or at least I suspect it to be a convert so or conversion whatever you want to call it from 13 maybe 11 I don't know um, but uh, it does work the process that I've shown in on the desktop with the XML and the uh, the mod desk and also the actual XML for the seed drill by changing those fruit types, field types, whatever over to sugar beet or adding that in it uh, does actually allow it to then seed sugar beets so and we have sugar beets in this field I'm gonna not save this as I said before I'm playing on this particular save game I just didn't really want to have to mess around putting another mod folder together with bits and pieces just to do this. So it does work. Uh, hopefully what I've shown and demonstrated will be of some use. And uh, like I said, the process is going to be the same for, irregardless of what uh, seed drill you're actually using. Um, just add in the actual fruit type that you want to add into or allow that to seed. And uh, yeah, go with that. Um, so yeah, hopefully it... Uh, has been of some help and uh, we're done so thanks very much for watching and uh, catch you on the next one